It's fatty, charred, meaty. You can just pick this up and eat it like a rib. Good morning. I'm at the Soler Resort here in Manila, Philippines, and this is why I filmed um, the dim sum buffet video the last time I was here. And they had another buffet that I, I couldn't get to the last time I was here, but I came here this time just for that all you can eat lobster seafood buffet. But before that, let's go grab a special lunch. I'm about to go and, and eat the cooking of celebrity chef Justin Kwok, one of the most renowned chefs all of Asia. This is gonna be awesome. What a wonderful day. Hasn't even started yet, but I already know it's gonna be great. And the lunch is gonna be held at a familiar place where I had a lot of good memories. Hey, Chef Justin. Really nice to meet you. Welcome, welcome. No, thanks for having me. Such a pleasure. Look, two great chefs, I'm so excited. Thank you. This is the uh, the cappuccino with mushroom. It smells more like mushroom soup than anything else, but it is very frothy on top, and they serve it with a, just a little brioche with uh, some chocolate on top. Oh, that's amazing. Those of you who uh, love coffee, you're gonna love this because you get that nice aroma from the cappuccino. It's not overly strong. You don't get a lot of the bitterness. It's just glorious mushroom soup that's incredibly aromatic. Combos, I never thought would ever exist. Seriously, one of the most uniquely delicious things. Oh! Scallop ceviche and then drunken crab with salmon. Drunken crab with salmon roll. This is really pretty. It looks like a paradise island on a plate. I was just joking, like, drunken crab, would you get the crab drunk? Chef literally got the crab drunk. He soaked it in sauce for three days. This is like Chinese herbs and spices and a lot of soy. So I'm expecting a bunch of just great umami flavor. I don't even know what to eat first. I'm gonna try the um, scallop ceviche. Mm. Slightly sweet. Oh, you can taste that ginger flavor in that little flour. Mm. With a slight crunch. I can't wait for this drunken crab. Wow. You taste that great umami flavor from the crab, but then you start getting these little bursts of flavor when the, when the little salmon rolls start exploding in your mouth. You taste that little bit of that drunkenness, but nothing is overwhelming anything else. Oh my God, okay, the next one, I am just, I can't even articulate words. This is something I didn't even know I wanted in my life, but now I see it in front of me, it's all I ever wanted in life. Furgua soup dumplings. I asked them like, how should I eat this? Because normally soup dumpling, you drink the soup first and then you eat it. So they recommended I could do either way. I could pop the whole thing in my mouth, which I love to do, or I could drink the soup first. I'm gonna do one. That's why I love it. I'll give you two, so one of each. So let's drink the soup in one, and the other one, I'll just pop it in and see what it tastes like as a whole. By the way, I just wanna say, it's the perfect puncture mark because I am, I am a soup dumpling vampire, so I had a lot of practice at this. A little, a little nibble, it doesn't hurt it much but it gets the work done. It gets the juice flowing, if you know what I mean. Oh my gosh, okay. Right away, you get a huge hint of black truffle. The soup is light, it's not overly fatty like a normal soup dumpling. Mm. You gotta try this. You combine the, the creaminess of the fragua with the chewiness of the pork. Then you hit that with a slight vinegary taste from the black vinegar. A French soup dumpling right here. I'm gonna try this all in one bite. All the flavors is there, it's popping, it's exploding, it's taste buds happy, jumping up and down. And then the fragua just smooths everything over. That's something like the banana or Twinkie of the dumpling world. I mean, it looks all Asian on the outside, but inside, that's all French. This is a salmon dish, and I kid you not, as soon as I saw it, my mouth started watering. It's beautiful. The salmon is cooked in low temperature. Fried garlic, looks like, on top. And inside, on the bottom, some soy oil. That salmon, it just melts. It's gone. It just melted. With something so delicate, that's why there's a lot of different textures in here. 
So we got like, some crunchiness from the cucumber, from the fried leeks. Mm. Our sauce on the bottom is so amazing as well. There's something citrusy in here. This is like a magic carpet ride of flavor. Mm. Next lobster dish. Look at it. It's covered. I thought this was like fried garlic in the beginning, but it's actually Cambodian white peppercorn. Mmm, that pepper is insane. It's got a nice floral flavor. It's really making this lobster even more aromatic. Usually with this much pepper, it might be a little too much, but this is perfect with that sweet lobster meat. I gotta get myself some of these peppers. There's a little bit of juice left in this lobster tail. Yeah, it's not going to waste. Balls I found is one of my favorite, favorite dishes in the world. When it opens up, all you smell is that amazing truffle flavor in the lap chomp. Mm. The richness of the flavor, there's no comparison. I mean, every single grain of rice is like anointed by that holy sauce. And the aroma from the lap chomp and the truffle just completely overwhelms all your taste buds. That's balls eye perfection, for sure. I'm so happy after this. Flourless souffle. This is, this might be the most beautiful thing I've seen all day today. You know why I love a souffle? Because of his dancing skills. So jiggly and stuff. If you just let the spoon go, it just sinks right in. And look how delicately beautiful the souffle is. It just looks like a little floating cloud. It's mesmerizing. And on the bottom, look at that. Lychee. I'm pretty sure I dreamed about this before. Mm. This is not just east meets west. This is east meets west meets heaven. You gotta try this. It's something that shouldn't even exist on this earth. <laughs> That's how heavenly this thing is. As soon as that enters your mouth, it just turns into mist, a lychee flavored mist. This thing is so light. I feel like after eating it, I become lighter. I don't even know if I need to go to the gym anymore after this. I, I, th I think I lost weight eating this. That was an amazing meal by Chef Justin. I never had a fusion of Asian dishes with, with French influence, soup dumpling, I think that, that was the highlight, but I really fell in love with the first sip of that mushroom cappuccino. All the flavors are both explosive and subtle at the same time. There's so many things going on. There's always a good mix of what I'm familiar with in the Asian cuisine, and also you can definitely taste the French influence as well. Big shout out to Chef Justin. Thank you so much. Amazing meal. I gotta go hit the gym a little bit because uh, I got a buffet coming up in about three hours. Wanna move my feet. First glance, this buffet looks amazing, all right? Lobster cooked, bunch of different ways. Massive prawns, crab. You can have your seafood cooked, you order. Ah, oh, don't even know where to begin. All right, take a deep breath. Like I always say, a good buffet is like a great story. Let's start at the beginning. This is crazy. They got lychee juice and milk tea on the tap. Oh. And you can add some grass jelly in there. This buffet already just, even before taking the first bite, I'm loving it here. There's so much good quality selection, it looks like. Let's start with a little salad, you know. Just cause my mom watches the show every time, so I just wanna make sure she knows I am eating my salad. Although it is a watermelon salad, so. 
there's like a little sesame oil in here. So it's like really fragrant. You wouldn't think sesame oil, lettuce, and watermelon goes together. Look at this, it's like a little, little igloo sushi. Mmm. <clears throat> I thought it was just gonna be like a bunch of rice, no flavor. Boy, am I ever wrong. That thing, I'm going back for that. If you ever come here, you gotta get it. It's got a little octopus on top. Oh my, it's so spicy. I think there's some mayo in there, a little sesame seed. I'm so happy I got that. And then mounds of pork belly. Oh, that is perfectly cooked pork belly. And then change the skin, the char on the meat, part fat that renders down. Hard lean meat, a little chewy and juicy. Again, normally I don't like pasta, but this thing looks so inviting. Seafood pasta, mac and cheese. Mm. I think I actually should have started with the seafood because everything is so good. Getting some mac and cheese and pasta early in the game, you're gonna not be able to stop eating that. Freshly fried tempura. Perfectly crunchy, right out of the oil. Little tempura sauce. Oh. oh, that's worth the burn on your tongue. You're not gonna find a fresher tempura than this on any buffet in the world. I've never seen someone just like sitting there frying tempura on a buffet. Such a delightful little crunch on the outside of this prawn. And the sauce is light as well, just highlighting the subtle sweetness and juiciness of the prawn. Licked by the fire, got a great flame roasted taste to it. It may not look as tender as you think, but trust me. Ah, that's all tenderness right there. Lychee juice and milk tea. Since I travel alone, I just cheers myself. Cheers. Oh yeah. Mmm. Oh, milk tea or grass jelly. That goes perfect with my steak. All right, round two. So this station might just be my favorite ever. So you can have this grilled, you can have it fried, you can have it sauteed, whatever you want. I'm having a grill. They asked me if I wanted garlic butter or lemon butter. I asked if I could have a garlic lemon butter, and we're good. Herb crusted baked sea bass. Oh, oh that is juicy. Pepper crusted sea bass. Mmm. Where have you been all my life? It is the most melt in your mouth piece of meat. Perfectly flavored with some crusted pepper and salt. And the sauce, it's some kind of mayonnaise based sauce with a little bit of citrus inside. I got a piece of the garlic lobster. Sweet, buttery. And with that white sauce, anything is better with that white sauce. This crayfish. Mmm. Just slips out of his shell. It's my lobster being done. Woohoo! Thank you. Freshly prepared lobster, made to order. Round three, and this is a doozy. This is the lobster thermidor, so it's grilled cheese with lobster meats and bell peppers and onions inside. It's basically a stuffed cheese lobster. Mmm. <laughs> There's nothing not to love about this. Slightly sweet peppers, stuffed, overloaded with cheese. Lobster Singaporean. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Spicy yes. Egg, You're too that. awesome. This is too awesome. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you, Chef. It's basically a chili crab, but instead of crab, you got a lobster. It's a chili lobster. Spicy, eggy, very Singaporean. This is my garlic lemon butter lobster. Mmm. And these are smaller, much more localized lobster. I feel like they're sweeter than typical main lobster. And these two, this is like a, this is called a sweet and sour St. Peter's fish. Oh, this is great. It's sweet, slightly sour, perfectly fried. Still retain a little crunch from the skin. This is the grilled tuna belly. If you think pork belly tastes good, try a tuna belly. Oh. There's a lot of fat in tuna, and you grill it, it just becomes a whole lot of awesome. This is the craziest thing. 
I might have gotten on this buffet so far. I didn't even know what this was when I first saw it. It's a tuna fin. They grill an entire tuna fin for you. Look at this monster of a fin. What? This is so awesome. It's fatty, charred, meaty. You can just pick this up and eat it like a rib. Oh man. <laughs> no mix of fatty and lean tuna meat. It's crushed it with pepper with a little lemon juice. This is a tuna lover stream. I don't know how life gets better for me from here. I really don't. The prawns, I'm sorry, the prawns cousin the crayfish. You can have it butterfly, which I did. And you can see all that good stuff, including the best right here. The guts, the brains. It smells so good. Mm. One of my favorite things here. Oh my goodness, do it. Get it butterfly and get a grill. All it is, a little salt and pepper and just that smoke and fire out of this world. Might have been my favorite thing here. Oh my God, these are beautiful. Oh, come here, baby. Look at these monster crayfish. Burning hot, crusted with pepper, charred perfectly. The head is enormous. Oh, that thing got a bigger head than I do. Look at this. This is what it's all about. That juicy head right there. That's so juicy and rich. And besides the head, it's the massive piece of juicy, sweet meat. It's unbelievable. I still like the butterfly version better, but if you want to slurp a prawn head, you got to do it like this. All right, let's go see what else we can conjure up. Whoa, this is freaking adorable. Got my little panda and my little porcupine. Ooh. Vegetable dumpling. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I got some noodles just because it's just a noodle time of the buffet, you know? Got some chilies in here. Mm. This broth is so rich. This is called the Tino Lawn Monarch. And look at this, it's stewed with chicken, long peppers, spinach it looks like. Oh. This is one of the most soul-filled bowls of chicken soups I've had in a while. Hints of ginger, a little pepper, a whole lot of soul. This is comforting. This is like sitting at home watching a Disney movie on a stormy Sunday afternoon, wrapped in a blanket in front of a fire. Comfort. This. It's just way too adorable. I think little pandas and porcupines could be friends. Don't look at it, just eat it. It's so delicious, you're gonna forget it was cute at one point. You guys, you guys wanna know why I love pandas? Because they're the most international of all animals because they're black, white, and Asian. Yeah. Sorry, little buddy. Mm. Oh, this is so good. It's like a soupy chocolate panda bun. It looks like I bit the back of a panda head and now it's like leaking chocolatey brings everywhere. That is good. Mmm. I gotta get some more of that. That is delicious. Hey, I brought a bunch of his friends back. Again, just a warning. It's gonna get a little graphic. I like a panda horror movie. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wanted you guys to see what was inside, but it's so delicious. I apologize to pandas everywhere who may have been watching that clip. All right, for dessert, gotta get some ube ice cream. This is like an egg pie. And this is a ginatama ease, which is basically a sticky rice pudding. And then a couple pastries. I'm not really sure where they are, but let's try. Oh, this is so good. This is like a cassava, like a solid cassava pudding kind of thing. It's just kind of creamy, a little milky. Mmm. This is fantastic. Oh, this rice pudding is fantastic with a little pop and corn. Oh, this egg pie 
the thing on top is like a, almost like a chewy orange candy. This is so good. Take some of this, some ube ice cream. Mmm, what a wonderfully sweet ending to this amazing food day. Starting off with amazing lunch by Chef Justin. And then finished up here at one of the best all you can eat seafood buffets in the world. Unlimited lobster, unlimited massive prawns, sorry, crayfish, all that and more. Roast beef, steak, everything under $40. This is definitely one of the best buffets. I've ever been to around the world. I mean, just the amount of quality stuff here for that price tag is beyond compare. And of the buffets I've had in Manila, of course, the other one being the legendary Spiral Buffet, which costs, I think, like around 60 or $70. If you had to choose between those two, I would come here. I mean, for the quality, the selection, the price, you're gonna be very, very happy coming here and eating this buffet. Guys, as always, all the information to all the places I went to, listed down below for you. Thank you all so much for watching. Till we eat again, see you later.